Hello everyone. So the other day I went to Home Depot. I was going to pick up a couple of new hammers. Um, I was going to get a framing hammer and another lightweight hammer. And I decided to go with this 22 ounce DeWalt framing hammer, which um, I'm not going to be reviewing that. So I'm just going to set this to the side. But something caught my eye. It was this 12 ounce DeWalt hammer that advertises strikes like a 20 ounce, which I thought was, you know, kind of weird, kind of a unique claim to be making when DeWalt makes a 20 ounce hammer. And so I looked on YouTube, I didn't see a whole lot of videos. I saw one guy, he did, you know, hammering some nails. But I want to do a little bit more in-depth comparison of the two and see if this is like an actual claim. And I know that like the testing of the hammer is going to be a little bit subjective, but I just want to get some measurements, get some weights and things like that. So what's interesting is they advertise here, they show 340 grams on this one, and they show 566 grams on the 20 ounce hammer. So I don't know if that grams is the overall, I'm sure it's just the grams for the hammer head on each hammer, but um, like I said, I wanted to see kind of where the weight was, where the balance was, and see if this claim is, you know, somewhat valid. So. I just picked up a new scale because mine broke. Let's set this to the side. Let's see here. So this is the 12 ounce that we're going to be measuring. I'm going to get an overall weight. I'm going to try just to get the hammer head weight. So the overall weight, this is in ounces. Let me switch this to grams. All right. This hammer will not stand up by itself, so I will be just kind of help balancing it on here. I'll, I'll, I'll show you. I just I'll put my thumb on it just like that. So overall grams right there in the two four no I mean right there in the seven forty range, seven forty five. Let me let me try to let me try to. So we'll say right at 740, okay? Let's see what the hammer head, we'll just kind of lay it here to the side. So we're showing about 517 grams, um, obviously depending on how you, okay, 515, thereabouts. All right, set that to the side, move this over here so we know, so we know what we're looking at. Yep, little marker. So what we say? We said it was about 740 overall grams, and we said the hammer head was about 515 grams. Okay. Let's get the other one over here. All right, once again, this probably will not stand up by itself. Nope, it won't. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna have to like kind of, just kind of like, I'm not I'm trying not to press on it. So I'm just gonna be holding it like that. So we'll say 840. It's bouncing all over the place. Hold on. Let me see if I can't find. We'll say 840, yeah. 840 on the overall, on this, let's get this weight. 840 and we'll say five, 594. So 840 and 594. So there's about, a hundred overall grams difference in the two hammers. Uh, looks like there's about, let's see, let's just round that up to 95. That would be what, 70, 70 grams difference? Nope. That'd be, yeah, 70, 70 grams difference? Nope, that'd be 85. So. 
80, 80 grams, yeah, there's about 80 grams of difference. Sorry, I can't do math right now on the fly. 80 grams difference in the hammerhead weight. So close thereabouts, uh, you know, if you round up to that 100 mark. <clears throat> Let's switch this to ounces. I'm curious what it is in ounces. Switching this to ounces now. We'll say one pound, 10 ounces, as far as the hammerhead weight. One pound, two ounces. Switch this here. One pound, 13. One pound, four, that's interesting. So one pound, four ounces on that and let me get this hammer out of the way. One pound, four ounces on that. One pound, two ounces on the hammerhead weight. Okay. So let's write this down. So this here was, was one pound, what was it, two ounces? Sorry guys, someone decided to call my phone in the middle of filming and it cut off the recording. So anyways, so it looks like the hammerhead weight on this one is one pound, four ounce, one pound, two ounces, and the hammerhead weight on this one is about one pound, four ounces. Pretty close as far as one pound, round up, one pound, five. This one here, one pound, two, so one pound, three. So the head weight is pretty close. So that will, that will definitely um, help with the hammering, I guess, um, as far as them if I was a 12 ounce feeling like a 20 ounce. Let's see where the balance is real quick. Let me walk around here to the camera. Actually, I might be able to do this behind the camera. So the balance on this one, let's see. Hmm. The balance on this one is pretty close, right there between the A and the L. So you got a little bit more weight, a little bit more weight towards the hammer. Pretty well balanced hammer overall. I mean, not your super high end one. Let's see here. Let's. This one is pretty similar. Yep. Pretty close as far as balance. In the same spot. About to drop it here. If you notice, these grooves right here is right where my finger is at. So. Make it a little bit hard to balance this. Hmm. May have to call this one good right about there. Right there, okay. So that's where the balance is on the 20 ounce. Let me set this to the side now. As far as overall length, I mean, I know my camera angle isn't perfectly straight, but they are pretty similar length. Probably overall length is probably the same. Actually, the 12 ounce, the 12 ounce hammer is slightly longer than the 20 ounce. Um, see if I can stack them here before you guys can see. So that right there is pretty close to how much longer the 12 ounce is than the 20 ounce. All right, let's do some hammering. 
Okay, I'm back. So what I did here, I got treated four by four with the two by four on top. I just put some screws on the ends so it wouldn't go anywhere. Um, I'm gonna try to hammer this behind the camera. I may have to switch around the table, but I didn't want my lapel mic cord to get in the way. So, all right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the 20 ounce first, um, then I'm gonna use the 12 ounce second, do four 16 penny nails. Yes, my nails are rusty, they got left outside in the rain. Um, see how it feels. I am gonna start these uh, by hand. This is ordinarily that's what you would be doing. So the 20 ounce does not have the little nail starter in it, but the 12 ounce does, which I think is um, kind of odd, I guess. It seems like you put the nail starter on every one of your model hammers, but okay. All right, so here we go. 20 ounce. Last one nail down on the floor. Oh, where did it go? Pick it up. All right. Last one. Let's do it up here so I don't... There we go. One ounce. Not too bad. I'm not counting the blows. I'm not trying to hit it. Um like super hard try to drive it in two nails anyway so all right here we go now we have the 12 ounce i'm not going to use i'm not going to use the nail starter yet um, both of these are smooth face hammers by the way let's get this a little closer to me so i'm not leaning over as far um yeah. I can already tell the difference in just the two nails already. Um, I'll, I will expound a little bit more. Give it a shot. Of course, <laughs> there is a knot right there. I would go right lost cause let's go over here let's get out of that let me grab one more nail real quick okay grab a few more nails sorry about that I didn't realize there was a knot right here that we would be going into. One more, make it fair. So with those four nails that I've done, I can tell the difference. I can tell that this is a heavier hammer than this. Um, but, let me see if I can get this nail out just while I'm trying to talk. Um, maybe that's because I used it first. I don't know. But it seemed like I was putting more effort into the 12 ounce hammer. All right, then. Anyways, it seemed like I was putting more effort into the 12 ounce hammer than I was the 20 ounce. Um, it seemed like the initial strike when you hit on the hammer. I could feel like a little bit more deflection with the 12 ounce than I did the 20 ounce. Um, the design on these are a little bit different. If you notice the 20 ounce design is the same on both sides. This one has a concave back with, um, I don't know what we call that, the concave front. I mean, I don't know why they did that, but Let's try the little nail starter on it. Little magnetic nail starter. Boom. Uh, 
out, I could tell. Yep, sure enough. Not quite where I was trying to go with it. Lost another nail. Try one more nail start here. Well, I don't, it's not a bad hammer. Like, don't get me wrong. I just think their claim about it feeling like a 20 ounce, a um, little peculiar. Is it a bad hammer? No. Do I think they need to compare it to the 20 ounce? No, I think they need to compare it to maybe a 16 ounce. I think that would be a better comparison than. This is hard to do, guys. I'm literally standing behind my tripod with a cell phone, iPhone 12. Yeah, I'm gonna pull that up later. But this is why I put the two by four here with two screws so that I can unscrew it later. Anyways, um, so do I think it lives up to be compared to a 20 ounce? No, in short, I don't. Do I think it's a good 12 ounce hammer? Yes, I do. Um, you know, is there really gonna be a need to where you're just like, oh, do I need to go with the 12 or the 20? Not necessarily. I mean, if you like having a 12 ounce hammer, you like having the nail start, um, sure, go with it, you know? If you just want kind of your medium all around hammer, um, that is missing a nail start, which I don't know anybody that uses those. I don't use them. This is literally the first hammer that I've had that I'm going to have that has a nail start on it. So I don't know any contractors that actually use it. Uh, I did think this little nail puller on the side was interesting. We'll see how that works in a little bit. Anyways, in short, um, with the overall with the overall grams difference, with it only being 100 grams less, and it looks like the hammer heads were pretty close, um, I thought that might be a little bit better as far as how they felt, but I can't tell the difference. Not a big one, not anything like, if you blindfolded me and gave me one hammer, and if I could actually hit a nail blindfolded, um, could I tell the difference? Not, it would be, it'd be really hard. But like I said, I just feel like there's a little bit more deflection um, striking 12 ounce, 20 ounce. Um, like I said, as far as balance, um, I feel like you can tell a difference in just handling the hammers. So, but by all means, I think the 12 ounce is a good hammer. Um, I think it'd be good on small jobs around the house, things like that. Um, Probably would not use this on a contracting job where I was doing framing or anything like that. Would probably go with your 20 ounce or your bigger 22 ounce or just go get you a nail gun. I mean, but anyways, like I said, I just want to do more in-depth comparison. Hope you liked the video. Leave a comment. Thanks, guys.